Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we encountered Myra in the cave, and in this episode, we are going to finish off this cave. And while we're doing this, I'm going to talk about something. The uh, suspect test, as I'm sure most of you already know by now, about Klefki and Swagger has been finished. The voting is complete, and Swagger is now Uber. Now, what this means is you cannot use the Swag Play strategy with Klefki, Tornadus, I mean, not Tornadus, sorry, Thunderous, etc. in OU. It's a bit unfortunate. I actually enjoyed using that strategy, not because I didn't know how to win with anything else. Believe me, I can win Wi-Fi battles without Clef Key's Swag Play strategy. What I mean is, it's just... See, I use the Swag Play strategy mainly to neutralize the opponent's faster Pokemon. But, and if I don't feel safe switching out at that point, I would just keep uh, Clef Key in and do the whole Swagger thing. You know, I'm sure Klefki has will have some other niche uses without swag, without swag play. But it's really, I don't know. I and I don't remember where I'm supposed to go at this point. Oh boy, this is gonna take a bit. I don't remember quite where I'm supposed to go. Did I already face you guys? Yes, I did. This is not the way. I think I've already faced all the trainers in here, though. Hmm. I don't like this cave. Maybe we'll go here. I think that we only got one more pair of trainers to face anyways. I mean, it's been so long since I did a Platinum episode, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. And I have Luxio and Monferno in the party. And maybe down here? There we go. That's the way. You're lost, aren't you? I'll guide you if you can beat me. Where am I? Am I lost? Who are you? Are you a person? I mean, a Pokemon trainer? Why did I read that as per person? Jeez, I suck. Alright, tag team battle, basically. And is Myra going to be useless in this? Probably. This is probably going to be a 15 minute episode, no longer than that. And we're going to spark that Psyduck though, he's probably going to need a Shockwave, yes he is, because it's not like my Luxray can, my Luxio can handle it. Nope. Oh well, I guess Spark is going to have to take out that Apom. But yeah. Well, unfortunately for me, Swag Play is banned. Swagger is banned, and I think it was a big major majority vote. 66 in favor of ban, 11 in favor of not banning, with 5 votes left undetermined. But, the other 5 votes wouldn't have made a difference either way. So, yeah. No doubt I'm not too happy about it, as I just expressed quite a bit. But, what else can you do? I mean... Can't really do much. Now, here's something you guys are gonna think I'm crazy for, and I don't, don't blame you. I believe Spore should be banned. Why do I think that? Well, because it's 100% accuracy sleep move. Hypnosis, sleep powder, and I think another sleep move. I think there's another sleep move, I'm not quite sure, of that kind, is not banned, and they have lower accuracy, but sleep, I mean, Spore, God damn it has 100% accuracy, which means unless you're breaking the rules by using the evasion clause, you're probably not going to uh, dodge Spore. I mean, sure there are counters to it, like Magic Bounce, a Grass Sight, but there were counters to Swagger too, and that had less than 100% accuracy, and that was banned, so... And Swagger has a chance of backfiring, however, Sleep doesn't really have that chance of backfiring and I am really lost. I might just say forget it if there's any other trainers in here. Oh well, because I really don't want to be in here any longer. I just want to move on with the main story. Yeah, I think I'm going. Maybe there's something over here. Oh, there's trainers over there. Whoops! We have to go over there. Why did I compel myself to go there? I mean, look over there. And doing the whole repel thing is getting really annoying. I don't like it. Right. 
Yep, these hikers are down here. Look, a trainer lost in Wayward Cave. Wandering around, I got hungry. So I ate some wild mushrooms. They gave me gas, but now I can't stop burping. Blurf. Stupid hikers. I think this Geodude has self-destruct. I'm not exactly sure. So we're gonna intimidate the Geodude and Onyx, and yeah. Now I do, now as I was saying before I lost my way again, I do believe Spore should be banned as well. If Swagger can be banned, then why can't Spore? Swagger has a big chance, well, a 50% chance of backfiring, and Spore really doesn't have any chance of backfiring on you. They both, I believe, have the same time frame to, for you to break out of the sleep slash confusion. But I digress, and here's Sandstorm. Hopefully they don't have some sort of sand veil in their team. Which they don't, I'm sure. So, yeah. Out comes another Geodude. I guess I'll bite this Onyx since... I guess Myra wants to take out the uh, Onyx. Yep, I mean the Geodude. What am I saying? And damn. Oh yeah, that's right. Sandstorm boosts the defense, well, the special defense of rock types by 50%. So yeah, pretty good tag team strategy if I if I do say so myself. Sandstorm, not gonna do a whole lot, but yeah. Dark Void is another sleep move, but that can only be, I believe. Used on two Pokemon. Well, not used on as in you're using it against them, but it can only be taught to two Pokemon. That's Darkrai and Smeargle, and that has less than 100% accuracy. Obviously, Darkrai is not banned because of Dark Void. It's actually banned because, well, I think it's a it's ability. I don't know, but all I know is Spore should be banned because your only real counters are something with a random Lumberry. A grass type or a magic balance, really. Maybe something in Zombia as well, but I don't think there are that many commonly used Pokemon in Zombia. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course. And let's get out of this cave once and for all. I don't care if there, I missed any other trainers, I just want to get out. I don't like this cave. Sorry, I'm using repels, but the journey through this cave would be a lot longer if we didn't use repels. It's long enough as it is. So let's get out of here, and here's Myra, she's gonna say, Oh, there's the exit! I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat! Tesla, bye-bye, thank you! But you were a scaredy cat because you were crying, so that didn't really accomplish anything. So let's get through Route 206. And let's head off to Heart Home City and explore it. Or start exploring it. I don't need to spray a rappel, there's no point. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this tree and make our way to Heart Home City, where we're gonna be forced to do a mandatory annoyance of sorts. And here again, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can find Clefairy and Bronzor and Hooray. Oh, we're not going to be able to actually do um, Heart Home City quite yet because we got some trainers to fight. Let's fight this trainer. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? He's got an Onyx and I have a Luxio. We're gonna bite this and Spark won't do anything, literally. Aw, oh, Rock Bro, we're not gonna do too much. Because of Intimidate, and we're gonna bite it some more. That must hurt Luxio's teeth to bite Rock. And unfortunately for me, Sandstorm is in the mix. So I'm gonna get pelted every turn, and god damn it.
God damn, this battle is so trolling. Rock throw. <sighs> Sorry about my commentary slackluster, but yeah. This guy's obviously starving. He can't just head to the town and get some food. But I digress. Do I have an orange berry or something? That's, whoops, I don't want to check the tag. I guess we'll leave it with three less HP than max. I don't know, I'm kind of OCD that way. Here's a black belt, or karate guy. This cry man's going to pulverize you! No, you're not. I promise next episode I'll have a more in-depth... Um... More in-depth commentary about what I'm trying to say, but... I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, you know? Gotta get back into the swing of things. And we're gonna spark this machop and hope it takes it out. Will it? No, almost. I used to have Foresight, and actually a little bit of trivia here. Foresight is the one move that in this generation can make Spiritomb have a weakness. Spiritomb is, as you'll see in the near future, a dark slash ghost type Pokemon, which means no weaknesses, technically. Uh, the, the dark type of it nullifies the ghost and dark weakness, and the uh, ghost mm, typing of it nullifies the... Bug and fighting weakness, because fighting will not be able to touch Spirit Tomb. Touch Spirit Tomb because of the ghost typing. However, if you use Foresight on it, if you use Foresight on it, it will negate the ghost typing and you can hit. Spiritomb for a super effective fighting move. And let's get this item, and we're probably going to end the episode off here. Yes, we will end the episode off here when we get this item. Then we found an Ether. Awesome. Actually, I think we'll, we can do one more battle. Let's do this. Oh, you want to have a battle? I was meaning to enter a contest, but beating you won't take long. Who's gonna be beating who? And here's Rosaride. Out and about. And this is a bad matchup, and I could switch into Monferno, but I'm too lazy to do that. Let's just take it head on. And we one hit KO'd it. Awesome. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we will continue our way to Heart Home City for the second time, and, that, and this time we will actually stay there and explore, unfortunately. But unfortunately we can't quite do that yet, because I forgot she had a second Pokemon. So, let's just spark this thing out. Also, another trivia, if you're trying to get a Vespa Queen, which is the evolved form of Combi, don't get a male one. Male Combis can't evolve. But yeah, see you next time for more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. See ya.